Hello everybody, uh, welcome to a, another video. Today we're going to be testing this, a TMU solar panel set. I'm not sure if we can see there, it says it's 40 watt. Output power of 40 watt. Well, let's see what it is. Let's open it up and see what we can find. We're going to be using the Ampere app on my Google Pixel 6 and we've got USB-C cable there but firstly let's open this up here's the solar panel we've got a couple of toggles and a bit of instructions there we don't need those what's good is you've got a little light here um, so when the solar panel is generating electricity that will come on and we've got a USB-C connector and a normal USB now let's open it up six panels there all together I'm guessing these is for the two toggles perhaps to pass on a backpack or something um, what we're going to do is we're simply going to plug my phone in on USB-C connector. Let's lay it out there on the table. It's a lovely sun, sunny day. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon, 1.32 o'clock. Let's plug it in and see what we get. So the Ampere app is measuring. I don't sure if, so if we can see that. Currently not getting very much at all, but it's finding its sun, as I like to say. We're just going to leave it for a minute and see what it can come up with. Well, I think it's fair to say the charging capacity certainly varies. We haven't got anywhere near that you'd have from a plug. Uh, it's certainly a plug puts in more voltage, more amp amperage. But the maximum we've got so far is 370 milliamps, uh, 3.8 volts, and it's currently doing about 320 milliamps. Working, whether that's 40 watts or not, well, on a nice sunny day, certainly it wouldn't have any hindrance, or I would not expect it to have any hindrance. Well, we're getting a variety of various charging speeds. I've moved the solar panel around. I've put it into airplane mode. I'll put up on the screen now the kind of speeds I've got, which I guess is to be expected. I've now just started trying it in airplane mode and look at that. It's generating nothing, <laughs> which perhaps is indicative of the sun. I've moved the panel around a little bit. So what's my review? Would I buy one? Well, I've obviously bought, bought one now. It does seem to work, it does seem to generate energy, maybe good as an emergency backup. Definitely worthwhile having that. But is it something to be relied on? I think it would go hard pressed to be relying on this as an emergency source. But there's nothing to say you wouldn't have this on the back of your rucksack, perhaps charging a backup battery. And use the backup battery to uh, power your phone. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please do leave a comment below. And if you haven't already, if you can subscribe and give the video a like, that would be very much appreciated. Helps me make more videos in the future. Thank you.